and Cody, I, I get, bless his heart, I will get a random text from him months after I had to talk to him and it'll be at three o'clock in the morning and it's, it's almost like it's in code. Let's get into it. WrestleCon weekend. I knew you and Brock were going to be in Cleveland. And you, my friend, did not say a word to me about what was about to happen on my television screen as I sat down and I'm watching SummerSlam. And they go back to Cody, who's coming off the bus. And as Cody comes off the bus, he stops and talks to you. Okay, so I have some questions about this. There you are, the dad figure, the coach figure. You're giving him that one last pep talk of reassurance before the big match. There will be friends that are there. Can you please tell us how did this appearance come together and, and just share with us, your family around your virtual living room, how this all came to together. We were so excited <laughs> to see you, man. Well, coincidence-wise, I was going to be in Cleveland anyway. And I was doing a signing for the two days for WrestleCon, obviously. Um, and Cody, I, I get, bless his heart, I will get a random text from him months after I had to talk to him. And it'll be at three o'clock in the morning. And it's, it's almost like it's in code. But uh, it was like we were having a conversation, Triple H and myself and you know, just wonder what we could do. Maybe to have you come to one of the shows or something. And I think according to his text, Triple H said, you know, I think that maybe some of the guys, young guys we have here and young ladies haven't met him. So maybe it would be a nice treat because there were a lot of other legends going to be there. Nash and Sarge, and Miss Texas, the Steiner brothers, you know, they, it wasn't like I was the only legend quote that was going to be uh going to be there and uh he said what do you think and i said well you know i'd always uh be interested in saying hello to you in some type of com cameo so he put me in touch with uh, ben which is benjamin brown says yes name. sir nice man on he's the one that that uh takes care of some of these lost treasures on that show and everything and he got a hold of me and they just, you know, hey, yes, we'd love to have you. We'll fly you in. We can bring a guest, you know, we'll put you up at the at the West End and uh, love to have you come over after you finish your obligations, you know, signing from and thanks to the people of uh, WrestleCon from the fine folks that put that together. I'm much appreciative. Uh, they used us, Brock and I. So, they said, uh, we will have travel get a hold of you. And it was one of those things. I don't know what kind of press. I didn't see anything anywhere about me possibly coming. So I'm thinking, well, maybe they're going to make this a surprise. That was kind of cool. And from the reaction of the crowd, I think it was a surprise. I don't think anybody expected me to be there, even though there were some crossover fans that were, you know, it's funny. It's like, I must have had five or six people when I was doing the two day signing. You gonna do a run in on Cody's match? Not, not, no, no chance. It would be a wobble in or a hobble in, or maybe I get a golf cart to run me down there or something, but there ain't gonna be no run ins out of this old boy. <laughs> uh, so, it, you know, it turned out that it was uh, Pharaoh and, uh, Having his final walk with Cody, mm -hmm. what a sweet dog. I know what a beautiful dog it is. And um, and it turned into something else entirely. So, so, so you get there, you pull in, and then it's does someone approach you and say, hey, we're going to have you do a segment with, with Cody in the back. Uh, who, who is that Cody who tells you that? or who, who? Uh, Well, uh, when I first got there, um, in the back, you know, if you're a VIP, you get to pull underneath and the car service that they provide for you. So I got out and I mean, there, this is a pay-per-view, this SummerSlam, this is second biggest pay-per-view of the year for that company. And, uh, for any company for that matter, you got 
56, 7,000 people there, whatever it was. So it, 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 I was so glad to see this, but it was really so nuts. I'm starting to see as soon as I get out of the car and I start walking, like looking around, like, okay, who do I see? Like, who do I let know I'm here? And, and, uh, I see all these familiar faces, you know, from five years ago when I worked there, but they're all here. They come and God, I didn't know you were going to be here. So good to see you hugging my neck, shaking my hand. And, you know, it was just a, people that were so happy to be on their job that particular day. It was just such a, what a warm feeling, the whole atmosphere everywhere I walked backstage. So I said, somebody get a hold of Cody and get him out here if you don't mind. And they said, they said, uh, okay, why don't you just go to his bus? He's the first one in line right there. So I knocked on the door, went in, we talked, had a nice talk, got to visit with him. Saw Randy Orton right away, got to visit with him, saw the undertaker pulling in, got to visit with him a little bit. It was, uh, I just kind of floating along. I mean, it was a lot of familiar and, and I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking, but the entire camera crew from when I worked there for 19 years now, still there, still intact. Those guys, great guys, the, the travel girls, Holly and, Kathy still intact, all these different jobs that people do backstage that I just, I know their face and I know they work in production, but I, I have no idea what their name is and never did for the 19 years I was there. It was just, Hey man, how you doing? Da, da, da. So it was just an overall really heartwarming, I guess is the best, uh, word for it. Uh, was a heartwarming event for me personally and i just uh i'm glad it was received the way it was by everybody and just thankful for uh the opportunity to say hello to everybody it, i just i can't stop smiling listening to you talk about it because it sounds like a family reunion arn and and it also sounded like a completely different probably a totally different vibe in a good way totally different totally different. And, you know, it just, every, everybody you saw was just had a little pep in their step and they were skipping around and, Hey, how you doing? You know, nice to meet you. Da, da, da. We've never met, da, da, da. but it was all in the course of doing their job. They were, they were tickled to death and they should have been, they were, they were going to be appearing or participating in the second biggest show of the year. So why wouldn't you be? <laughs> 